is the connection between the tall building and Ganesha? Let's find out in this video. Some buildings can get as tall as a skyscraper, while some cannot. The stronger the foundation, the higher the building. And if the foundation has obstacles or is not strong enough, even if we attempt to go higher, the building is bound to fall. The same is true with the human body also. According to yogic science, there are seven major energy points in the body known as chakras. Imagine these points as different levels of consciousness, just like the steps of a ladder. When these chakras are activated, they allow energy to flow freely, promoting balance and a healthy life. In the yogic culture, each chakra is also associated with a deity who represents the qualities and emotions linked to that specific energy point. The first of these seven chakras is called Mooladhara and it's presided over by Lord Ganesha. Mooladhara means root foundation and it's like the strong base upon which our whole energy system is built, just like the foundation of a building. When a person's energy is primarily dominant on the Mooladhara, they may find their life revolving around basic needs like food and sleep. But when this energy rises to higher levels, it leads to advanced states of meditation and spiritual growth. So Ganesha, the deity of the root chakra, has to be invoked first because the whole thing starts from the Mooladhara. Therefore, in the tradition, before starting anything, even great sages have always first bowed down to Lord Ganesha as he is seen as the one who removes obstacles in the path. This is also one of the reasons why in Bharat, whether it's in a temple or before any event, people first seek blessings of Lord Ganesha. If you also know any such interesting things about Ganesha, please let us know in the comments below and share this with as many people as you can. Ganapati Bappa, Moreya!